Alright guys, I just want to do a quick video today on how to install the iPod Clickwheel games on a Windows um, PC. So we've just updated this not long ago, so we've got Windows support now. So uh, the first thing you want to do is open up this virtual machine release and it'll open you up to this page. You want to download these four files, so the 001, 002, iPod game files and iTunes game files. You just click on those and it'll download to your downloads folder. It'll look something like this one, two, three, and four. So once you've done that, uh, you want to go back to the GitHub, which will be linked in the description. Uh, you want to go down, uh, where are we going? Uh, let me have a look. So this one, main.zip, you want to click this. Um, and then download this as well and then this will go to your downloads folder and here it will be so what I've done just on the desktop I've made a uh, iPod click wheel game folder so opening that up will just give me this folder so pretty much what you want to do when you have like all these files is open up the main and then click drag and drop it into here and then you want to go back uh, iPod game files open that and then go into this extracted main uh, folder that we got and then drag and drop the iPod game files into there all right and it's optional but uh, you got the iTunes game files you can put import these files into um, your normal iTunes where you do the syncing in that so you won't get any errors saying like to uh, reinstall the games or whatever it's optional to do that I don't do it but you can do it so just uh, yeah, drag and drop that into there and then the last two things is so we got the 001 and 002 uh, make sure you have 7-zip uh, archive installed um, and then you just want to open up this go to 7-zip file manager just once and then you got this folder which has all this stuff so you just want to get this and drag this into here as well and this is nearly it we're basically halfway through uh, the process at the moment um, to install these iPod click wheel games so I'll show you the next step after this extracts Okay, so you got this folder in here now. I'm going to go back to the GitHub. Uh, next thing you want to do is scroll down until you find uh, this one. Install a recent version of VMware Player software update. You just want to click this link uh, and, in, and download it, and it'll put it in your download folder. You'll get uh, this VMware. Uh, folder so you just want to open that up double click on this and click on run this will install the virtual machine into uh, your PC so you can run it so you just want to go next I accept yep next you want to click both of these off you don't really need this um, click next next install And that's pretty much that. That's it for the downloads. Uh, you can just minimize this or exit it or whatever. Now we go into this extracted iPod Clickwheel Games folder that we got all the files to. Uh, you want to scroll down this Win64 Convert HDD to VMware. Double click this. Click on More Info and Run Anyway. So just let this go. It'll take a little bit of time uh, depending on your specs on your PC.
All right, that should just close and everything should be set up to go. So this is pretty much where you can launch the VM uh, now, the virtual machine. So you just want to go to this folder, Win64 VMware, double click on that. Uh, look for this one, VMware Virtual Machine Configuration, iPod Clickwheel Games Preservation Project. You just want to double click on that. And this will launch the virtual machine. Uh, just click no here and it'll launch uh, if, it, if I ask you to update just click remind me later you don't want to update this because it's like a standalone sandbox Windows uh, for the iPod click your game so I'm not sure if like you update it if that'll be any issue or not but I wouldn't update it anyway So it'll come up with this. Um, so this will be addressed in the next issue, uh, in next release. But yeah, it says password has expired. You must it must be changed. You just want to click on OK. There is no password, so you leave this blank and then new password. I don't know, just put in whatever one two three four, and then confirm password one two three four. This is just whatever you know, putting in whatever. And then it says uh, changing password. And then it'll start to load. So here's the virtual machine. Um, what you want to do is plug in your iPod, uh, go to Player Removable Do Devices and Apple iPod. iPod uh, connect, disconnect from host. So you just click on OK, click OK, and then hopefully it'll connect to here. It might take a little uh, minute depending on your PC and how good it is because you're running like Windows in a virtual machine. It might take a little while. And if it doesn't connect straight away, uh, like mine didn't, just unplug your iPod and plug it back in. This happens with regular iTunes as well. Sometimes it doesn't detect the iPod straight away. Just double checking. So in removable devices, it does see the iPod. Right, so here we go. Razer's iPod, it's found me. So you just want to click on this one. Uh, click on the games. So I've got no games on here at the moment. Um, so what you want to do is pick the first five. One, two, three, four, five. And then uh, click apply. And this will sync the first five uh, games. These contain the keys for the uh, accounts um, to allow you to play the games. So basically you want to do these five at a time, um, which I'll go through. So you tick five, click apply, um, and then untick the five and then tick the next five and click apply. Just takes a little while because it's running the virtual machine, but your iPod sync is complete. So you just want to untick two, three, four, five, and then start the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, and then hit apply. Now this iPod that I am uh, syncing these to is a 7th, 7th gen iPod Classic. I've upgraded the storage to 512 gig. Pretty much after you install all these games, uh, 
it'll be around three gig in total size for your iPod. So, you know, if you've got the space, install them all. If there's a few games you don't like, you know, you'll be able to, um, just delete the ones you don't want or whatever. But, uh, all right, iPod sync is complete. So you can pretty much get out of this now. Click the X, click power off. And then hopefully it'll just pop up with my iPod files. Yep, so here we go. There's the iPod. So pretty much what we want to do now is go to iPod control. Uh, go to games underscore RO. And you'll see these folders here. So now where we have the iPod game files. Um, so all iPods is for your classics and nanos. Uh, iPod video is 5th gens and stuff. So mine's a 7th gen. So I'm going to go to all iPods, go into the iPod control, go into the games RO folder, and then just highlight all these and drag them over here onto your iPod device. This is probably the longest part, but uh, just to transfer everything over because iPod is USB 2.0. But once it's done, that's pretty much it. I'll do a little cutaway uh, where uh, after this is all done, uh, to go on the iPod and I'll show you, you know, like that, that they're working and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much the whole process. But um, yeah, so as this will, will go through, it'll ask you to replace uh, existing files or whatever. You just want to hit replace all. Yeah, so it's just going to take a little time. You just got to let this go all the way through. Um, so with these, all these different folders, these are all your different games. So if you, let's say, I'll just minimize this for a second. But if you want to go through and find a game that you don't, uh, you don't want to have on there, you just scroll down on the GitHub um, and then preservation status. And then here is the codes or whatever. So if you look in the games RO folder, um you know 22020 and that's asphalt 4 so you look for this code and then that's what this folder is um pretty much that's it so if you find something you don't want uh just go through the list and then pick which number you don't want to install and then there you go that's pretty much everything I just install them all. I mean, I've got 512 gigs, so might as well have them all. We're still missing two games, guys. Um, missing, let me have a look. I'll show you. We're missing Real Soccer 2009. That hasn't been preserved yet. Um, we're also missing Sudoku uh, version 1.2, which hasn't been preserved yet. Um, and also Tiger Woods PGA Tour. But um, out of this whole list, Pretty much all of them have been preserved so far, which is really good. Um, it had happened really fast, but once we get these other three, uh, other three games preserved, then that'll be the list, and then this project will come to an end. Um, the only thing is, with Apple and iTunes and stuff, we're on the last build of iTunes that um, still connects to the online servers, um, and we need this connection to be able to, like, authenticate the games into the virtual machine um, to be able to sync the keys so once they cut off that network connection if we haven't uh, preserved these titles yet these three titles we're not going to be able to do it in the future with this method uh, which is going to be a real shame so um, please spread this around uh, trying you know hopefully people enjoy the games and all that sort of stuff that we've gotten so far but also you know can spread awareness to see if we can Try and get these three titles before it'll be too late and Apple kicks us uh, out of the network for the last build of iTunes. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, we can get that all sorted um, before that time happens. So
Yep, so here we go. Uh, it's going to say replace. Just click on replace the files in this destination. And this will just overwrite the existing files or whatever. Just easier doing it that way. So that then you know you've got all the games sorted. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you go out, go back in, you see all the game files are there. Um, I'm going to cut away now to my iPod, and I'll do a little video of like the games working and all that sort of stuff. So, um, cool, I'll cut away to there now. Uh, on a quick note, guys, um, uh, this is like another cutaway, but um, so if you sync your iPod to re your regular iTunes for music and that, it may de-authenticate the games, but there's a way to like prevent that. Um, so on the iPod, in the iPod uh, folders and files, you want to go to iPod control, um, and then you want to go to iTunes, and then this ic-info.sidb. So this file pretty much, uh, you know, copy that to where you like keep it safe, and then when you sync um, to your normal iTunes, um, go back into this and then just copy it back um, every time and then that will keep the games authenticated onto your device. Alright, so now I'll, I'll switch over to the iPod and I'll show you it working. Alright guys, we're back on the iPod now after syncing all the games. If you go down to games, you'll see the total is 50. So, this is the 7th gen, you'll be able to get 50. We can scroll through the whole list here. All the different ones, and these you can all you can play them all, you know. Um, and that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, I'll just launch one for fun. Let's go into I don't know Tamagotchi, but um, yeah, if this tutorial like helped you or anything to try and get these games, I know you've just been waiting for it for a while. We still are missing like two games and an update, so hopefully, we can get that sorted. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you guys uh, appreciate the video and it helped a lot of you guys get these onto your iPod. So, alright, thanks again. See ya.